Is everyone here? Yes, father. Good. Now do you remember where we stopped yesterday? Yes, father. You told us how Moses went and met Ramesses, the pharaoh of Egypt. Moses asked Ramesses to release his people from slavery and let them leave to the promised land. Very good, George. What happened after that, father? Ramesses got really angry when Moses asked him to free the slaves. In his anger, he doubled the work of Hebrew slave. Keep working, you lazy Hebrew slave. Ah! If you don't meet your quota today, then you will die. More bricks! More bricks! Who is he? He's Pharaoh's spy. Talk to him carefully. Huh? Pharaoh has Hebrews as spies? You have been away for a very long time, Moses. Are you happy now? They are making us work even harder now. All you have done is make everything worse. You should go and tell Pharaoh that you were wrong. I was helping you. We didn't ask for your help. Apologize. Apologize now. God, I did like you told me, but things have gotten worse now. Moses, go again to Pharaoh. I will make you like a god to him. Take your staff and dip it in the river. You shall multiply my wonders in this land. And by this they shall know that I am the Lord. I will do so, my Lord. Moses, Pharaoh, the Lord God has commanded you to let the Hebrews leave. Who? The Lord God of trickery, is it? Out of my way, Moses. Behold his power. And Moses did as the Lord commanded. He lifted up his staff and dipped it in the river Nile. Throughout all the lands of Egypt, the water turned to blood. The fish died and the river stank, and the Egyptians could not drink. Another clumsy bit of magic. Fine, I don't have to drink water when I have wine. You are so cold-hearted, Pharaoh. But Lord God has instructed me. I will show you that he is the one true God. Pharaoh, cousin, please let my people go. This doesn't have to happen. Your people are going to suffer if you remain adamant. Some will die. Enough! I am the only God. And then he hit the ground with his staff and the dust became lice. Pharaoh's magicians could do nothing. But Pharaoh refused to let the slaves leave. Ah, oh, God! Pharaoh is not letting the people leave. He again raised his staff and hit the ground. This time, millions of frogs came out of the river. There were frogs everywhere. Go! 
This time, it was a storm of flowers. The cattle died, the land stank. Bring me Moses. Yes, my lord. Ramesses. Ugh, you, you. How long will it take for you to realize that this is God's will? Don't hurt your people anymore. God commands you to let his people go. Don't think that you are greater than God. I am the God. If you don't want your people slain, then leave my city. Listen to me. God is sending one final plague tonight. At midnight today, he will kill every firstborn child in this kingdom. You are banished from this house. Banished. If I ever see your face again, then I'll kill you. If only you listened. Father. Yes, my son. I'm the firstborn son. I'm afraid. Don't worry, my son. These are just his tricks. This man is nothing. His God is nothing. Then Moses called for all elders of Israel and he said to them, God has spoken to me. Tonight you shall slaughter your lamp and mark your doors with its blood. Do not leave your home until morning. Lord God is coming tonight and he will deal with your oppressors and will shield you from the destroyer. When death sees the lamb's blood on your doors, he will pass over your homes. He will not hurt any of you. Once we leave from this town, we must remember this night. From now on, we all will celebrate this night of the Passover. And the people did as the Lord commanded, Uh, what is this? It's happening. What's happening? It's like Moses warned us. Run for your life. Ah! And as the midnight came to pass, all the firstborns of Egypt were struck. The city started echoing with cries. Oh, great God! No! No, my son, not my son. <sighs> what happened? The death. It has passed us. Thank God. Yes, but pity the firstborn of Egypt. My son. My friend, I'm so sorry. Don't say anything. Take your people and leave. I don't care for anything now. Thank you. And... And... Don't say a word. I will never forget what you did. Just leave. And that day, all the Hebrews left the city of Egypt. They were finally free. Free from slavery, hardships and all their sorrows. Thank you, Moses. I just did what God asked me to. Where are we going? We are going to the promised land. Where is this promised land? I don't know. 
he will guide us. And the Lord guided them through the day and the night. Come on, this way. After traveling for many days, they reached the shores of the sea. What am I supposed to do now, God? How am I going to cross this vast sea? I was a fool. I shouldn't have let them leave. Bring them back. I want all of them back. But Moses? I want him dead. Kill Moses. Kill him. Ready the horses. We leave now. The Pharaoh is coming to kill us all. Are you happy now? You brought us here to die. We were at least alive in the city. Now you are going to get us killed. You are going to die today, Moses. Kill them! Kill them all! Moses! Moses! What are we going to do? We must do something quick. The Pharaoh is here. I know what to do. Do not be afraid. We have God on our side and He will never allow anyone to harm you. But we are stuck here. What are we going to do? Help us God. It was a miracle. God parted the sea to let Moses and his people pass. Did you see that, my lord? Don't stop. We'll cross the sea and catch them at the other bank. The Egyptians followed them into the seas. But when all Hebrews reached safely on the other side, God made the water return. Ah! There is no one like you, God. You have saved your chosen people. You have taken us out of slavery, out of Egypt. You saved us, Moses. Thank you. I did nothing. I was just following God's word. We still have a long way to go. Come on, let's go. On to the promised land. Moses walked for many days in the desert. They had no food to eat and no water to drink. People began to doubt him. What kind of plan is this? No food, no water. Are you going to kill us? What's your plan? Yes, what is your plan? You always complain. Didn't God take care of you like a father? Hasn't he promised you a great land for your home? But we are hungry. And thirsty. Can't you do anything? We are dying out here. If God provide you with water, will you stop complaining then? Yes, but there is no water around here. What are you doing? See how God loves you. 
Water! Come on everyone! Water! Moses! Moses! What is it now? We could use some food, you know. Everyone is hungry. Lord, these people are driving me mad. I don't know what they want. I have heard the murmurings of Israel's children. Tomorrow morning, you will get food from heaven. Thank you, Lord. And in the morning it was so. On the ground lay the food. People were really happy. This is manna, the bread from the heavens. Take it, eat it. Once you are ready, then we will start marching. They continued their journey in the desert, but people continued to question why they were led out of Egypt. They demanded more and more from Moses. We are tired of manna. We want meat. You will get your meat. <laughs> they continued their journey for many more days and they finally arrived at foothills of Mount Sinai. Stop! Everyone stop! We will camp here for a few days. Where are we, Moses? Do you see that mountain? It's called Mount Sinai. It was here that God appeared to me. Are you going up there, Moses? Yes, I'm going up there. Alone? But... Master! Master! <laughs> Joshua, my general. Master, if you are going up there, then let me join you. Hmm. But it... Don't worry, Master. I am your general, remember? I will follow you wherever you go. <laughs> All right, you can come with me. Aaron, I will be gone for many days. Please ask the people to remain patient and wait for me. People camped at the base of the mountain and Moses and Joshua climbed up the mountain. They walked for a long time. Joshua, I must go alone from here. Don't worry, Master. I will wait for you here. And he climbed up and up into the thick cloud. He stayed for 40 days and 40 nights in darkness waiting for God. In the meantime, people down below had become impatient. They started revolting. And one day, they came before Aaron. He's not going to come back, ever. He abandoned us. It's been so long. Moses will come back. Moses is coming back. Trust him. I don't think so. Don't you believe so? It's been many days. I don't think he's coming back. We are all going to die. You. We want you to make a god for us. What? There's only one God who liberated us from Egypt. No, we want a real God. A God who we can see and touch. I... I can't do that. If you don't make us one, then you will die. Huh? How dare you? <laughs> and you will die too. Make us what we want. Or else, both of you are going to die. Oh dear. Give all your jewelry to Aaron. Give him all your silver too. And Aaron will make us a real god. A golden cow. Aaron was forced to make an idol out of gold as the children of Israel wanted. Please forgive me God. Aaron worked for a long time. And when it was finally ready, he presented it to the people. Here it is. Here is your God made out of gold. Isn't this what you wanted? Isn't this? Move away, you. 
Here is our God. Let's celebrate. Let's dance, people. I'm sorry, Moses. And after 40 days and 40 nights, God appeared before Moses. 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 God, I give to you the way to live. I give to you my Ten Commandments. Remember them. Teach them. I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not worship false gods. You shall never take my name in vain. You shall keep the Sabbath day holy. Honor your father and mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not lie. You shall never want what belong to others. Thank you, God. Thank you. Master! Master! Joshua! Come, Joshua. It's time to go back. What is that sound? Hmm. I... I think it's the sound of celebration. Celebration? It's Moses. So what? We don't need him anymore. We have our own beautiful golden god. Is this how you repay your god? He released you from slavery and yet you doubted him. You will repay for this. Look at this. He gave his commandments to us. All who believes in God, walk toward me. Are you people crazy? Don't go. We have our own God. Come back. He wants to be like the Pharaoh in Egypt. He wants to rule over us. Stop it. Witness the judgment of the Lord. When Moses threw down the tablets, God punished everyone who committed idolatry. Lord, please forgive them. They are sorry for what they did. If you are still angry, then punish me first. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Moses then went back to the mountain. God forgave him and gave him another set of tablets. But the sins of the children of Israel caused them to wander in the wilderness for 40 years until the older generation who did not believe perished. And finally, they arrived on the banks of Jordan. Moses, this is the land that I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I have let you see it with your own eyes, but you shall not walk on it. Only the people you led will. Thank you, Lord. Master, Joshua, come here. Why did you call me, Master? Joshua, look over there. Do you see that on the other side of the river? Master, is that, is that the promised land? <laughs> yes, Joshua, it is the promised land. <laughs> we made it, we made it, Master. I knew you would lead us there, Master. I never doubted for a second. Thank you. What are we waiting for then? Let's lead our people to the promised land. They will be elated with this news. Come down and lead us, Master. No, Joshua. You will have to lead them. What? But why? Lord spoke to me. My time is up, Joshua. He told me that I am only allowed to see the promised land, not to walk on it. It is you who have to lead them now. But Master, 
Don't forget, it is God who gave you the promised land. You must hold fast to this covenant. I will, Master. All right, you should go now and tell them about this good news. Yes, Master. Father, I have a doubt. Yes, Lucy. Did they reach the promised land after Moses died? Hmm, yes they did, but only after a lot of struggle. I will tell you about that in the next episode, Joshua's Battle. Goodbye children.